Good morning. Opening morning. Jude and I. We didn't really sleep in. Yeah. But uh we probably should have woken up about a half hour earlier than we did, but it's all right. It's 6 a.m. opening morning. We're almost to the spot. We passed two other, three other parked rigs at three different spots. And um, we're gonna go um, do our own thing and we'll see what's gonna happen. We'll try to keep you, keep you guys tuned in and hopefully we'll get into a little bit of action. But yeah, hope hopefully all you guys are having a decent opener wherever state you're in, whatever time of the year it is. But here we go. All right guys, we've been after a nice branch bull that we spotted from the road up this bare ridge above us. And uh, we were on a good trail. We can smell them, or we can smell elk. And there's just a ton of rubs over here where we're at. What do we got here? What do we got here, boys? Nice. <laughs> Good job, Jude. Look for the other side. Is it over there? Hold it up again. Hold it up. Well, that's awesome. That made our morning hunt a little bit cooler. 
got into elk and found an elk shed. Pretty good morning. Let's go. All right, back in the truck. Had a pretty decent opening morning. Got on a nice bull. Didn't get him on camera. We should have gotten on camera when we spotted him. Oh, yeah, we but we didn't because our main focus was to go after him. Anyways, uh, it was kind of a, a scramble. Not really a scramble. It was kind of difficult to try to find a way to get to him. We kept getting plugged up by like super dense vegetation and when we started backtracking towards the truck and then sure enough there's a beautiful trail system and took us right in the general area where he was heading and uh, sure enough I could we could smell him we could hear him we never did lay eyes on him but but uh, we played with him for a good hour and at some point he was less less than 80 yards I'd say anywhere between 60 to 80 yards from us and I could hear him walking through through brushes breaking sticks and I, I honestly think um, other hunters kind of pushed him to the open ridge line where, where we saw him at first and so he was probably a little shy that's kind of my theory but who knows maybe he just wasn't interested because the rut obviously is not hasn't kicked on yet but uh, we didn't we didn't bugle or anything we just strictly we strictly cow called and it kept him in it kept him interested we didn't blow him out or anything like that but um, anyway so that was pretty fun what do you think Jude yeah what do you think about the whole thing um it was fun and it was kind of like scary a little bit <laughs> What else? What else? What about the hike? We caught, we hiked on top of a pretty big, uh, pretty big mountain with Jude. That was his first really a big push, and I'm proud of him. You should be proud of yourself, bud. And it was uh, very rewarding. Besides the fact that we had some action, it was rewarding that. We found a pretty decent this year's six point elk shed. So that was cool, right? Yeah. All right, well, we'll try to keep you guys tuned. We'll have to figure out how we're gonna pack this camera around because uh, we kind of took a little, little tumble and the camera got ripped off my backpack and um, the, the button that you have the camera, the tripod adapter screwed in, popped out. And uh, I mean, it's, I think it's an easy fix. I'll just epoxy it, JB weld it, whatever. But for the remainder of this trip, we'll have to figure out how we can pack the camera around because I, I wanna keep, keep filming this uh, opening weekend. We'll figure it out. Yeah. I have a cameraman with me right here, so. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go back to camp, eat some uh, late breakfast, maybe take a little siesta, and we'll, we'll hop back on here. All right. Thanks for following along. All right, everyone. Jude and I are getting ready for our evening hunt. Took a nap, ate a couple times. Yep. <laughs> Hydrated, and uh, it's still pretty early. It's only like 4 o'clock, but we want to get to the spot and just uh, sit and wait and see what happens so we'll try to keep you guys keep you guys posted and uh hopefully we'll get into them a little bit like we did this morning all right thanks for following along what do you got to say jude well hopefully we catch something this time are we catching or are we hunting hunting this hunting. yeah we're still working on that yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, everyone. We got to the spot. We're about 
not very far from the truck. I think we're, let me check on X real quick. We're just over three quarter mile from the truck. We probably gained about 500 feet elevation or so. But we're sitting in a makeshift blind uh, in a little meadow marshland. shooting lanes as long as the wind cooperates, the thermals cooperate, and uh, uh, yeah, if the stars align, we're going to be chilling here for some time, hours, so we'll keep you guys posted. What's up everyone? Obviously made it back to camp. Got the camp chef travel fire pit going. Of course we got water jug next to it just in case. Um, but it's it's fine I assure you. And uh, let's see what do we got going on. Jude's warming up some Yahtzee game. He's gonna try to beat me for the first time, first time this weekend. Uh, sending my beautiful wife some texts on the inReach, and uh, yeah, actually, right when I right when I turned it on, I already had a message from her that uh, Jude made his uh, baseball travel team. So that's pretty cool to find out while we're up here in in the middle of nowhere so the inReach guys can't can't recommend that little guy enough it's been so awesome and I use it obviously for for hunting and it's been a blessing especially for for my wife so I can keep in touch with her but even when we go like you know sledding winter time and we're going on some bad roads or we go cut wood in spring and fall I always bring that with me. You just never know what's going to happen in the backwoods, you know, like uh, whatever, flat tire and your spare tire is flat also, or, you know, transmission issues, transfer case issues, whatever, your battery dies, whatever the case may be. It's just so nice to have that peace of mind, having that in, in reach uh, with us at all times. And uh, anyways, but we're back at camp. We're gonna do a morning push tomorrow morning and see what happens and then we gotta head out of here around lunchtime. So we're cooking some dinner. We got a little, let's see, let's get the light going over here. Jude wanted some noodles and we used the jet boil and I'm gonna get some uh, mountain house going for me. I think it's like some Mexican rice that I haven't tried before. Notice that mountain house came out with some new meals this year. Maybe they've been around and I, they just haven't been in my area. I haven't seen them in my area before until this year, but I got like some chicken curry. Uh, this like, well, yeah, that's Jude's favorite. Those have been around for a while, but there's like a Mexican rice, 
chicken alfredo and chicken curry, which to me that those were new for Mountain House. And um, anyways, hope you guys are having a great opening weekend. Thanks for following along. Jude and I gonna play some Yahtzee, eat some dinner, listen to some music, and hit the sack, right? Yep. All right. See you guys in the morning. Sunday morning of opening weekend. Uh, yeah, we slept in a little bit. It's about 6 a.m. We warmed up a little bit with our Camp Chef fire pit, eating a granola bar, and now we're getting ready to do our morning hunt. Uh, we, for this particular hunt, we're just going to go straight out of camp. I had some good luck right back here in years past. So that's what we're gonna do. Wish us luck and we'll try to keep you guys uh, updated.